Alright, what's going on guys? My name is Fish and welcome to my very first Madden 20 rebuild. In fact, my first Madden rebuild ever is my very first video, so I'm very, very excited to get going into this. So we are doing my personal favorite team, the Denver Broncos, and this is just going to be a quick rebuild. Um, one episode, we will do uh, maybe a longer rebuild later. I do have something else planned for a more, uh, more consistent content. Um, and hopefully you guys are able to stick with me for all of that. So if you're new here, which I assume you are since this is my first video after all, uh, go ahead and hit the uh, subscribe button and the notification bell. Get updated every time I upload a video. Uh, I'm going to see what kind of schedule I can actually upload at just between work, family, and all that fun stuff. But anyway, let's get into what we have going on with the Denver Broncos. So <clears throat> Denver Broncos, very interesting team. I like them. Obviously, my favorite team. Um, they have a lot of work to do. Obviously, biggest off uh, off season uh, thing was that they picked up Joe Flacco from the Baltimore Ravens. So he's going to be our starting quarterback. But they also drafted Drew Locke in the second round. So he's going to be uh, behind him. Um, so far, we're going to start Joe Flacco. Uh, he's definitely the better quarterback right now. Will he be that way? You know, mid season. You know, next year. I don't know. But we're going to roll with Joe Flacco. For now, and then also we have Philip Lindsay, uh, who had a tremendous year last year uh, after being um, an undrafted free agent signed by the Broncos, first undrafted uh, rookie to make it to the Pro Bowl, which is incredible. So he's gonna be uh, he's gonna be um, he's gonna have a lot of expectations on him. Then we have a very deep running back pool. Oh my goodness, very good Andy Janovich at fullback. Emmanuel Sanders, very good wide receiver, expecting big things from him. Then we got a lot of young guys, Cortland Sutton and Deshaun Hamilton. I'm expecting the, those guys to do some really, really good things in the coming years. And we, we got pretty good depth there. Tight end. Um, let me change this now. Let's put Noah Fan, our first uh, first round pick up there first. We got Jake Butt, uh, Jake Butt and then Jeff Huneman uh, is there as well. So again, very deep in the uh, tight end pool, all 74. But I expect Noah Fan to be a lot better. Um, on the offensive line, we got Garrett Bowles, Nolan Reisinger, another pick we picked up this year. Connor McGovern, 71 overall, not the best. I think Nolan Reisinger, yeah, he's a 70, but I'm expecting him to do a lot better this year as well. Get some upgrades. Ron Leary, and then also Jawan James. Unfortunately, we did lose um, Matt Paradis uh, in the offseason, but, you know, that's to be expected. Derek Wolf on our left, Adam Gotis on the right, then, of course, in the middle, not of course, I jumped the gun a little bit. We have Shelby Harris, Zach Kerr as our defensive tackles, but we run a 3-4, so we only have one, usually one on the field at a time. And then, of course, the man, Von Miller, our captain, the you know, best player on our team, one of the best players in the NFL today with that fear monger X Factor. Can't wait to see how many sacks he's able to get. In the middle linebacker, we have Todd Davis and Josie Jewell. Expecting good things from them this year. Bradley Chubb, who had an outstanding rookie year last year. Um, you know, opposite side of Von Miller, we should be seeing a ton of sacks. Uh, cornerbacks, we got Chris Harris Jr. able to re-sign with the Broncos this year. Again, with that X-Factor, that shutdown ability. And then Bryce Callahan. Uh, we do have a pretty big drop-off in our cornerbacks. Um, but Chris Harris Jr., you know, should be able to get the job done. Justin Simmons. And then Kareem Jackson as our strong safety. Uh, with Brandon McManus. And then Colby Wadman as our punter. So, let's go ahead and just take a look at this depth chart. Make sure we have everything set up correctly. We've got Joe Flacco. Perfect. Uh, this looks good. Noah Fant. Can't wait to see what he is going to be. He's got that hidden depth trait. Two X-Factors on our defense. So, do we have the best team ever? No, not, not, not quite. Not quite at all. But, you know, I, I do, again, expect very, very good things from our team. Specialists and make sure specialists are good. Third down back. I definitely want Philip Lindsay there. I don't know why we have Theo Riddick. I'm probably going to get rid of him. I also don't know why Emmanuel Sanders is in our slot receiver. I'm going to have to change that. Um, but everything else looks good. Josie Jewel is our first sub linebacker. But yeah, other than that, um, I'm going to look at some free agents and I'll cut back um, if. I decide to actually get any of them. If not, we will go straight into week one. Um, so after looking at over everything, I decided we're going to pick up two free agents, uh, kind of round out the roster, hoping it make us a little bit better. So we're going to get Mason Foster as our middle linebacker, put him at middle linebacker number one. And then in the DT slot, uh, we do have the money. We're going to pick up Corey Luggett. I think he's going to be really good. Again, we have the cap room. He wants uh, $3 million per year. 
no signing bonus. So if we get rid of him, we get rid of him, no big deal. And that's really going to sure up our defense because if we're honest, our defense is what's going to win the games. Um, I thought about it, picking up maybe a couple other things, but I think everything else is pretty good. Um, I did see a good left line. Uh, William Hayes, he looks really good. Um, but I don't think... Oh, yeah, he wants $7 million for one year. I mean, he's good, um, but I don't really, you know, want to pay that much money for to replace the 74 overall. So we are going to go into, the, uh, into week one, and then we will see you guys then. So because of some, like, weird thing, I did have to kind of restart stuff. Um, but I'm at the same point, did exactly the same thing. I actually did sign a extra... Um, defensive end who do we pick up it was uh muhammad wilkinson i did pick up him thought he'd be a great addition to the team we had a ton of extra cap room actually so uh right now um and then everything else i did the same we are five and three actually doing very good i did set four wins as uh, kind of a goal for us um so we're already you know exceeding expectations so chris harris jr let's see how much he wants oh we have 50 mil so we'll see if we can get him on a two-year deal Good offer. Got a deal done. We're going to hold off on Emmanuel Sanders. Um, he's 32. Usually my rule, um, you know, is I, ho I hold off on players who are 30 or older. Um, Derek Wolf, uh, that's a lot of money. Um, but he's been, he's, he's solid. Happy sign. That's awesome. Will Parks, he's back up, I think. It's not terrible. Cool. Good offer. Not going to re-sign Theo Reddick. Uh, not going to sign Adam Godis again. Shelby Harris. Um, I think we'll pick him up. Solid number two DT. Andy Janovich. We'll pick him up. Connor McGovern. Uh, we'll probably not pick up this year. Because I, I do want to save some room for cap. We're going to have a lot of people that we have to re-sign anyway. So let's take a look at our stats. Kind of see how we're doing. Uh, Joe Flacco. Not Not terrible. Also not the best, and we're winning, so no real reason to actually uh, get rid of him. Phil Blins is doing okay, and then Deshaun Hamilton is actually the best receiver on our team. So let's double check any injuries. Okay, good. No one's hurt. So we will... Uh, I'll work on the extra guys that we need to sign. Uh, we are five and three playing the Browns this week, so let's see if we can uh, if we can make the playoffs. All right, so here we are in the playoffs, eight and eight. I will take that, absolutely take that. How do we do? So we came second in the AFC West, very good. Somehow we lost to the Raiders. That was kind of weird, but um, I'm very happy with that. Let's upgrade this player real quick. Mason Foster wants an upgrade. Very good. Um, so what we will do for all playoff games in the, these quick rebuilds is that we'll just sim them. Uh, if we win, we win. We lose, we lose, we lose. So let's jump right into the sim. Here we are in the simulation. Let's see if we can win, if we can beat the Jacksonville Jaguars. As we march down the field, we get three, but our D oh, my defense was holding up. Um, all right, we scored a quick touchdown right there. Oh, they get it right back. Third quarter, it is close. We're still only down by a touchdown. Pick up, okay, there we go. Look at that. Oh, we're down by 10. Come on, hold them. Oh, we lost, oh, so close. Man, that late simulation, man, that is just terrible. Hate to see that. Nick Foles, they, they won so, mm. All right, so Joe Flacco actually had a pretty good game. Um. 62% completion percentage, uh, three TDs, but did throw one pick. Phil Lindsay had a pretty good day. Uh, no touchdowns. Was, yeah, I don't care about the Jaguars. Um, unfortunately, no touchdowns for them. Receiving yards, Deshaun Hamilton actually doing the best. Um, he's He's been breaking out two touchdowns. Very good. Colton Sutton broke up a lot of great passes, or he broke one off. Averaging 20 yards per catch. Very good. Defensively, um, as a game somehow leading our team in tackles he sacks two sacks for von miller and one pick by bryce callahan so unfortunately our year is to a close but we will still uh we'll just try to rebuild uh do better next year um and we will start with free agency so fun fact we actually had three players make it to uh the pro bowl we had um actually four uh, now i think about it von miller chris harris jr um Parks, whose name, first name I'm blinking on, blanking on right now. 
Uh, let me double check. What? Will Parks, I think. Yeah, Will Parks somehow as a backup, he made the Pro Bowl and doesn't really get anything for it. Yeah, Pro Bowl appearance. He was like the second <laughs> Pro Bowl selection. And our punter, Colby Wadman, 63 overall, made the Pro Bowl. Um, I don't know if, uh, I think he made the Pro Bowl. Doesn't say he did, so I guess he didn't. Um, could have sworn, now I have to look. Great, that's the standings. Don't want the standings. That already happened, so he just, he didn't. Anyway, I think it's time to move on from Joe Flacco. Not the best, yo, he, he went down at the end. He threw a lot of picks the last couple, last couple games. Um, yeah, so I think it's time to move on from Joe Flacco. Um, but yearly awards, we actually didn't finish that. We didn't have anyone for MVP. Phil Rivers, Offensive Player of the Year. No one on our team. Von Miller came in number three for defense. Again, that's it. Offensive Rookie of the Year. No one from our team. Not even Noah Fant. Very, very surprising on that one. I have to look why. Because he, he usually has a good year. And, you know, no one. That was weird. There's no event, like, I'm actually starting. Yeah, he's up there. He's a 78 overall. Weird. Well, anyway, you know, you win some, you lose some. So we're going to head off into an Eagles and Browns Super Bowl. And then uh, let's see how some of these guys do. So Manuel Seniors went down to a 74 or 84 overall. Excuse me. Um... So the two guys we picked up in free agency, they want to come back. Um, we do have room for them. Let's see, we can't, I, you know, we can bring back all three of them, I think. Let's see how much, oh yeah, Manuel Sanders wants a lot. I think free agency would be better. That's fine. You know, if, I mean, if these guys go to free agency, like I'm not, like, all right, he wants to stay, that's good. And let's see if he wants to stay. Awesome. So, and, uh, you know, do you want to keep um, McGovern? We'll keep him. Awesome. Yeah, well, the rest of these guys, I think, actually, Tim Patrick is usually pretty good. So I'm to a three-year deal, save some cap room. But we're going to have a lot of cap room to play with in the off-season. So uh, basically what I'll do is I'll sign everyone, and then at the end, before the draft, I will show you who I picked up. All right, so we did pick up uh, three people in the offseason. We got uh, Cody Whitehair, who will be taking over left guard for Dalton Reisinger. He's young, but uh, he, this guy's just better. Uh, wide receiver. Um, oh, he is gone. Nelson Aguilar, uh, basically replacing uh, Manuel Sanders. He's just better and younger, not going to regress. And then on the defensive side, our major... Uh, pickup was Ryan Shazier. Now, what I didn't notice is uh, Joe Flacco retired. Did not notice that. So, unfortunate. Uh, we might move Dalton Ry uh, Reitinger over to right guard. In fact, let's just do that right now. Maybe we can get uh, something for um, Ron Leary, who is an older man. Let's see if changes on those. Does that put him at? Okay, it just puts everyone out of position. So I'm going to have to do that manually in the depth chart. Um, but that's all I have. So we will go straight into the draft. Uh, and basically, same thing as free agency. I will draft everyone and show you who I pick up. Okay, so what we did was we got rid of Ron Leary. Uh, he's just an older guy going to keep progressing. And we did pick up a uh, cornerback from the Buffalo Bills, um, T. Johnson. So he's going to be our third back. Um, again, our, uh, our defensive... Uh, Defensive backs needed a little bit of uh, reassurance. Not reassurance, just uh, added uh, depth. And now we have some very good um, defensive backs. And I think we are all set for the uh, for the draft. All right, so I'm back for my draft. And, and before I click on it, I'm going to preface something. Sometimes when life gives you lemons, you draft a quarterback from Alabama. 
That's right, we picked up Tua Tagovailoa in the first round. He fell to us, 73 overall. He's already better than Drew Locke. I wasn't planning on getting him. I wasn't, I'm, you know, I, I debated on it, but he was there, okay? That's all I'm saying. He was there. So we picked him up. He was hands down the best pick we could have gotten. Um, and we picked up another quarterback, Chase Lucas, who looks very good. Um... Nick Harris, who's a center. Um, no, he didn't have it. Uh, this is actually a really good pick. Uh, Tylen Wallace. Um, 72 overall. We picked him up in, what, the fourth round? He had, like, a first-round talent. He has a hidden dev trait. Uh, Richard Lawrence was okay. Uh, John Runyon, he actually has a hidden dev trait. I don't think we're going to actually get there. And then these two picks. Actually, uh, Tylee Cleveland um, picked a lot of wide receivers. But he just had, he had it. You know, he was there. I regret absolutely nothing. So, we do have a lot of guys. Yeah, C2 is already going to be up there. I'm okay with that. Offense line is looking very good. Backfield's looking very good. Uh, our wide receiver set, man, is looking super, super good. So, we're going to have to actually change our scheme because Tua is strong arm. And we have a lot of uh, deep threat guys. A lot of people, except Cortland Sutton, is our... Are going to be scheme fits. Um, so, you know, do we keep him? He's got star development. He's young. We also got Deshaun Hamilton. Ooh, I'm probably just going to put ahead of Corden Sutton. Let's be honest. But also, we have the rookie we picked up, Tylen Wallace, who's a 72 hidden dev trait. So we might try to. I think we're going to try to trade Cortland Sutton for someone. Um, maybe a center, because we actually didn't pick up, pick up a very good center. Um, picked up a good backup, but... Centers are our weakest spot right now. Um, anyone else I need to, to really look at? No, not, not really. Everyone else on here is pretty good. Yeah, so let's, let's see. I'm going to try some trades um, when it lets us in the next week. Um... But I'm going to try to trade for a center. So I'll be right back. All right. So this is what we did. We did trade away Cortland Sutton. And we did pick up Byron, or, uh, excuse me, Brian Jones center from the Saints. He actually fits our scheme too. So I'm very okay with that. Uh, which means we might let um, one of these guys go. Yeah, so our offensive line is actually looking very good right now. We, do, we have three guys with hidden dev traits on our... Offense. I don't think we have any on our defense. No, they all all have it. So let's see if we can. Oh, did Brandon McManus? Oh, I gotta I gotta fix that, man. Anyway, we need a do need a very good. Actually, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the rookie. Actually, no, Deshaun Hamilton can be in the slot. He can stay there. Everything else is good. We have to go get a kicker. So all the kickers were poop. Look at this jabroni, Matthew McCrane. Not Matthew McConaughey. Uh, he's 68 power. That's my bad. I let go. I let a really good kicker go. So anyway, let's get to the regular season and we will go from there. So for our season goal, we're going to make the playoffs. Or we're going to set to make the playoffs. I can't guarantee that, obviously. I'm getting upgrade. Just do that real quick. Um, and let's double check our team. Make sure it looks very good. Tua, oh, how close are you? I can't wait to see what you are, man. Um... Same thing with Wallace. I can't wait to see what you are. Not as much. John Runyon's probably never going to see the field. It's 160 snaps, so he might see the field every so often. Um, but he's just, he's he's nowhere near as good as Dalton Ryan. He's your nine points lower. It's not worth actually starting him. So let's go to week eight. And I'll let you know. And let's see how we did. All right, so here we are, week nine. And we are three and four. A little disappointing. Thought we'd be a little bit better. But let's see what's going on here. Tua's a superstar. Already a 76. Strong arm. Very good. I like that. Oh, we still haven't seen him. I don't want to pick his rating. Yeah, how close are you? All right, you're kind of close. Uh, we're, yeah. Did you get any more? No, he didn't. That's okay. Um, but I'm surprised. Like, how are we not? doing so good is um you know i kind of want to put him in the slot i think he'd be great 
get into the playing time. There we go, slot. Let's see how we're doing. And hopefully we can make a comeback. Who was actually doing really great? Third in the NFL in passing yards, fourth in touchdowns. Um, Phil Lynch is doing okay. Not not great, not terrible. And then uh, Nelson Aguilar is actually doing pretty good in receiving yards as well. So hopefully we can turn this around. Um, I also need to look at some people we need to bring back. Phil Blincy. Yeah. I gotta be honest. I love Philip Lindsay in real life. He's great. 87 overall running back. But he's 26. He wants a five-year contract. Um, running backs have a shelf life. And, and the new league is not based on running backs. So I, I think we have to let him go. Yeah, it's, it's as rough, as hard it is for me to say. It's not, actually the cap. It's not that bad actually. Um, let's see if he takes this and go from there. Happy to sign. All right, so we'll we'll keep him. Um, after all after all that I said, man. Um, Garrett Boyles will keep. He should be pretty good. Oh, we're okay. He wants more money. What a selfish person. Anyway, Jake Butt, very good. Shelby Harris. Um, will probably let go. Zach Kerr will probably let go. Kobe Wadman. Actually need to keep him, most likely. But we actually can start negotiating with him now. Sure, you're a punter. Awesome. Blankless, nameless punter. Um, <laughs> so let's look at our defense, see who we got to actually, we need to keep signed. So Shelby Harris will probably keep, get rid of Zach Kerr. We have so many defensive tackles. Um... Yeah, so we'll keep we'll we'll re-sign Shelby Harris. Double check um Garrett Boyles. Oh and Court Legate, we need to sign him too. Let's sign him for a little bit longer. Oh, we are running out of cap room. Um Yo, we'll, we'll let him go. We'll we'll let the older guy go, keep the younger guy, keep Shelby Harris. You know, okay, he wants more money. And and the rest of these guys we can let go. Garrett Boyles, I do wanna keep if we can not it is what it is so uh hopefully by the end of the year we will turn this around and uh, be in the playoffs so it looks like we were not able to make the playoffs this year that is unfortunate what do we end it seven and nine not terrible not the best either uh let's take a look at our stats Tua actually did really good. Uh, his passing touchdown slipped towards the end did throw 17 picks as well but 70 percent completion rating Man, rookie year, man, a thrown over for uh, seven or four thousand seven hundred sixteen yards, not bad. Phil Lindsay going over a thousand rushing yards, very good. And Tua getting it down on the ground a little bit as well. Nelson Aguilar doing really good in receiving. Noah Fant right behind him. Uh, Tylen Wallace. Let's see how he's doing. What what did he get? He gets he got star. He's a seventy seven overall. Actually doing very good. Solid third receiver for us. Let's see how we did. On defense, Ryan Shazier leading our team with 112 tackles, sacks, Von Miller, six and a half, Bradley Chubb, three and a half. I'm not going to lie, very uh, kind of disappointed in that. Could have done more. Chris Harris Jr. with four picks right there with Bryce Callahan, Justin Simmons with two, and then Tyron Jackson and Kareem Jackson both with one. So we're going to have to look at who um, the yearly rewards go to. I'm, I'm sure Tua is a shoe-in for that. Tua should also make the play or the Pro Bowl. So we'll take a look at the Pro Bowl as well. Don't care. I'm not playing the Pro Bowl. Tua didn't even make the Pro Bowl, but Case Keenum freaking does and Teddy Bridgewater. Oh my goodness. All right, let's... Oh, I'm so angry now. <laughs> To a freaking head. Nelson Aguilar made it for us. Very good. Noah Fant, number one. I'll take that. He deserves much more of an upgrade. I don't think any of our uh, any of our guys made it. No, none of the offensive linemen. Um, Von Miller, number two. I'll take that. Um, nope. Cornerbacks. No one. Oh, that's sad. Um, like a Nope. Nope. And no. Oh, all right. So. Only a couple people. How the page?
Patriots make the Super Bowl. We played them in the year, and they were like two and five. I guess they came back out of nowhere. But anyway, MVP Deshaun Watson, Teddy, Teddy Bridgewater. He's cute. Oh my gosh! I just play with the Saints. We're gonna win all the time anyway. Um, Marcus Mariota up there. Um, who was all the way down at number ten? Man, he had such a great year. Defensive Player of the Year. No one. No one on our team made it. Rick D, of course, it, it's Tua. Tyler Wallace, he was a good pickup. I'm really happy for him. He, uh, They're going to be a really good duo for a long time to come. Anyone for defense now? That's okay. Well, anyway, let's upgrade these players. Tua gets two points. Yeah, I'll just let the computer do itself. And let's go into offseason. See if we need to sign anyone. See if we need to keep anyone back. Three players want to sign with us. Ben, you crap. Oh, this guy has to sign with us. All right, we're going to need to throw money at him. Which, oh, that's not good. All right, well, we kept him. So now we have no money to sign people. That's just great. Yep, negative 10K. Let's just see who we're missing. All these people. Julio Jones is actually a free agent. That's surprising. I mean, no one, I, no one I really wants. So we're 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 gonna look at the draft, and uh, after we draft, we will see you guys on the other side of that. All right, guys. So here we are. We just finished the draft. Um, and let's go ahead and take a look at who we got. I think we did a pretty good draft. Uh, so our first pick in the eleventh, uh, with the eleventh pick in the first round, we got Justin Matadukbe. Matadukbe, seventy-one overall, hidden dev trade. He's basically just gonna start day one. He's a beast. Uh, and then in the second round, we picked up KJ Hamler. His his stats were just too good not to pick up. He's a wide receiver, a little short. Um, but 70 overall, um, hidden dev trait, you know, 91 speed, uh, his spec catch was, was pretty good. Uh, I do like that. So we do have a lot of very, very young, uh, talented guys at wide receiver. Uh, next we picked up Tristan Colon Castillo. Uh, he was a center. I might move him around. Um, his ratings were really, really good. I did like him. Um, he's the 31st best center. Um, so I might move him to a different position, um, on the offensive line. Maybe move him to, uh, right tackle. Uh, kind of back up Juwan James. And then the rest guys were kind of just filler picks. Picked up, uh, a right end, Tyler Friday. He might start. I don't think he will. Uh, Dax Hollifield. We got him. Uh, Geno Stone turned out to be a huge bust. And then we did pick up a kicker because we needed one. Andre Smith. Uh, let's just take a look. I didn't see his uh, kick power and accuracy. All right, 85 kick power. Not terrible. We have room to improve. Um, so let's go ahead and take a quick look at our depth chart. Um, so our wide receivers are, are very good. We have a ton of great young receivers. You know, maybe we can get rid of Nelson Aguilar or maybe we can trade him for someone. Because um, he's. I think he takes up a lot of cap space as well. Let me... See his contracts. Now we literally just signed him. Um, like literally, like just signed him. Um, but we have a lot of young guys that I, I think can make uh, some really good moves. Yeah. So he. Mm, I don't know. Let's see, let's see what it looks like as a right tackle. Maybe we can uh, move him around to, to right tackle. Save changes. Anything better? Uh, 72. All right. Not terrible. So he'll be, um, behind, um, this guy, Juwan James. He's getting a little bit older. Other than that, we got two. We're going to have to, uh, you know, keep him. We still have Drew Locke. I'm not entirely sure why, but, you know, it is what it is. He's a solid backup. Yeah. Friday is going to be there. I'm actually going to put, um, Madukbi, Madukbi, uh, as our number one, because he's going to, um, get really, really good. Um, and yeah, the strong safety we, safety we picked was already terrible. Um, but anyway, I think we did a pretty good draft. We got a pretty good team. I personally think a lot of young talent around us. I, I definitely like our defensive tackle. I think he's going to be great. And of course, our offense man is going to be electric. I can already tell. Um, you know, again, we have Deshaun Hamilton. Maybe, maybe we keep Aguilar one year. Um, how long is his contract for anyway? 
Uh, I don't want career stats. I just want to see his contract. Uh, so he's three years remaining. Um, yeah, he has three years remaining on his contract. We literally just signed him like last year. Um, so maybe we keep him for a little bit. Maybe he gets really, really good. Maybe he doesn't. Who knows? I'm actually, you know, uh, Wallace is going to be really good. He's uh, another guy. So we'll, we'll keep him. Maybe we put, um, who we got in the slot now that I think about it. Yeah, we'll put the rookie in the slot. Um, so now I'll have to move this guy around because I want our, uh, our starting DT there as well. So let's do that real quick, and then we will head out. So um, what I'm going to do with the series, maybe a little bit different than what you've seen elsewhere, is, um, uh, excuse me, is I'm going to do two years at a time. Um, so this episode, we'll finish here. Next episode, we'll do two more years, and then the last episode, we'll do the final two. So six years altogether over three episodes. I hope you guys can join me for all of them. I'm so excited to be making these videos for you guys. So be sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe uh, to keep notified every time I put up a video. And I'll see you guys next time.